We have another bout in we have another bout in the ant class division, so one pound robots. Yeah, these ones are small, but you know what? They're just as dangerous and powerful as the three pounders. Okay, and we can see in the red corner a former champion, as we can see by the golden ant on top. That is Psycho Mauler. Then in the blue corner, it's Kitbot over there. Yeah, that one, you know, it doesn't look like much, but believe me, that little arm on the top and those wedgets on the front can be just as dangerous as that spinning weapon on Psycho Mauler. All right, we are ready to go here at Spectrum. In three, two, one. Robots fight. Oh, off to a quick start. Yeah, Kitbot wants to get in before that weapon gets a chance to spin up. You definitely don't want to get hit by that thing. Good strategy, as it seems to be working. Now, one thing you'll notice when Curtis is driving, he's usually very methodical. He'll try and get his opponent pinned up against the wall as Ooh. much as possible. Oh, a nice one. Get him pinned up against the wall for as long as possible, trying to show that he's in control of the fight. Well, sparks are flying. Yeah, Psycho Mauler's weapon doing a great job on Kitbot there, but always managed to get himself self righted that's partly what that little arm is for on top, is to make sure he can get back on his bottom so he can keep driving. Circling around, vying for position. Oh. Another hard one off the front. You can see what those little wedgets in the front are starting to get a bit bent up by hitting those spinning weapons. These are two very quick robots, too. They are, yeah. Very difficult to drive, but, you know, both of them have quite a bit of practice at it at this point. Psycho Mauler getting him very close to the side. Ooh. Ow. Bounce off the side there. So yep. they try to scoop one another up and get position. Yeah, very strategic fight, especially with these smaller robots. You tend to see a lot less of the big hits and a lot more of just trying to jockey for position and try and line up the big hit that puts them out. So they get knocked around a little more. Again, just two very quick and agile robots. Yeah, Psycho Mauler doing the same thing that Kitbot would be doing, pinning him in the corner, trying to show control. Oh, nice one. Puts the underneath right into that spinning hazard. Once again, lining up, trying to see who's going to be the first to go in, who's going to get around. So far, another uh, quite evenly matched. Yeah, here. both very patient drivers. They've, they've done this one a few times. Kitbot now, sandwiching. Yeah, trying to actually very get him slowly, but ever so more closely to that side. Inch by inch. Pushing me ever so closely to the side. Got one minute left. He's about to get him over the edge, and there he goes. There we go. Well done with Curtis and Kitbot there. A little bit of a victory dance for Kitbot there. Yeah. You know, that's what comes with practice and skill at driving. You don't have to have the most powerful robot. You just got to know how to direct your opponent to where you want him to go. You can see those blades banged up. Yeah, that one was a really good one. Gets right up underneath him and just runs him straight into the hazard. And then that one there too. I mean, that was a that was a long, tiring push, but he manages to get him right to the edge and out the side. And that's what you need. Well done.